Hello and welcome to Cooking the Books with Heather. Today we're going to be working from Rodney Scott's World of Barbecue again and we're going to be making his mac and cheese. Um, the first thing I have to do is cook the macaroni but he his recipe specifically calls for large elbows so I had to go find those because I normally keep just the regular elbow macaroni so we have those and he does say to cook this in a specific amount of water plus a specific amount of diamond crystal salt which I never season my cooking water with diamond crystal because it feels kind of like a silly use for the more expensive salt I usually just use table salt but he says to use this and uses the amount and so that's what I'm using um, and then he uses table salt in the sauce. So that's, I don't know, whatever. I'm gonna put this on the stove and bring it to a boil. Once that is boiled, we need to shock it with uh, ice in an ice bath. So I'm gonna go get that ready. My water is boiling, so I'm gonna go put drop these in the whole box and cook them for four minutes. This has been cooking for four minutes, not in any way, shape, or form done, but we're going to strain it into the sink, into a colander. We've got a colander in the sink. Now I'm going to put it into our ice water bath to shock it. And I'm just trying to make sure it cools off, and then we're going to put it back in the colander to drain while we do the rest. There. None of it's hot anymore. I think we're good. Back into the sink. Back into the colander. I highly suggest getting the uh, floating ice cubes off of the water before you dump out the macaroni because you don't want those ice cubes in the water in there in the finished product and they weren't going to melt very fast. So anyway, I took care of all that. And now we have to make the sauce. I am just, I've rinsed out this, uh, yeah, there's just a little bit of water left in it. Uh, the pot that I use to boil the noodles because I have been cooking a lot and there's already a lot of dishes and I don't want to make any more. He says to do it in a small saucepan. I'm just going to do it in this pot. So we are starting with unsalted butter. And then, I need to open this. I am, I've actually, I don't think I've ever actually bought cream of chicken soup, but that this recipe uses condensed cream of chicken soup as a base. So let me go get my um, can opener. I do actually use cream of soups sometimes. I don't have a problem with them. I just almost always use cream of mushroom soup. I don't know why, but that's my standard. So. I'm just going to try to get all of this into the pot. Um, yeah, that's awful. I think I got a little piece of paper in there. So there we go. And the only other thing we have to add here is some whole milk. So for now, that's all we're adding. So we're going to bring this to a simmer over medium heat. I'm going to go put this on medium heat, bring it to a simmer and stir it. And then, um, We'll do the rest over here. So let me go take care of that. Sorry, there's a there's an ingredient that it calls for that I have not. Oh, yes. So I need some heavy cream. I missed it in the ingredients. So let me go ahead and measure that out. I was going to just add it to the milk and I didn't see it. And then whatever. So this is heavy cream. 
heavy cream and whole milk, and lots of cheese and butter. So this is going to be, I'm sure it's going to be absolutely delicious, but it is not going to be low calorie. There we go. All right. Bringing it to a simmer over medium heat. So it sort of it came up to a simmer and then I stirred it and it stopped. Anyway, I think it's at a decent simmer. We're supposed to do this on the heat, but I didn't want to set up the cameras over there. So we're going to stir in, whisk in all but about a cup of this sharp cheddar cheese that um, I shredded myself because he says to do that. Um, he says you will not get the creamy result that you're going for if you use pre-shredded cheese because it's coated with um, stuff to prevent it from clumping. So my, uh, and, and for, you know, full transparency, my cream of soup had still was kind of clumpy in there but since we're whisking it now I didn't I didn't worry about it that much but now everything seems nice and smooth and there was plenty of heat to melt that cheese if there wasn't I would certainly just put it back on a low heat and keep whisking until it is all melted but I think yeah, I think we're good. There's there's maybe a few little pieces in there that are not a hundred percent melted right now, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna keep that much cheese. I didn't measure it. It might be a little more than a cup, but I think it's fine. Seem I think that was about a quarter of what I what I did though, so which is also keep about a quarter of it. Okay, so now I put the drained and pretty cool macaroni into the big bowl that I used to um, give it its ice bath earlier. And now I'm going to add all of this cheese sauce in here. I will say I am not a fan of the smell of this with the cream of chicken soup, but like I said, I'm not a a cream of chicken soup is not something that I use a lot, and I'm sure it's going to taste absolutely fine, but it has a different smell than cream with mushroom for sure. All right, so now we're just going to stir this up. There's a lot of sauce for this, but since it is... Um, not well cooked. It's not super, uh, what would you say? It's not mushy. It still has some, the ability to soak up some, some of the liquid. So I think that will definitely happen here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my oven on to 350, although we're not going to bake this right away because what we're serving this with is not ready at all. Um, but I'm not going to bother with um, refrigerating this. I think it'll be fine in the brief amount of time. Oh, there was something I forgot. I was supposed to add this. Great. I was supposed to add to the sauce before I added it here, but it will have to do to add it to this. I'm sure you're wondering what's over here. So this is some table salt and some black pepper. Like I said, he used table salt in the to in the sauce to to season it instead of the diamond crystal and use diamond crystal in the uh in the pasta I don't, I don't know that's not what i would have chosen but we did that for the recipe i can see pepper throughout it so i think i did a decent job of incorporating it and now he says that this will all fit into a two liter casserole dish. I have my doubts. This is a 2.8 liter 
or sorry, two quart casserole dish. They're not exactly the same. And this is a 2.8 liter casserole dish. So, so it's almost three quarts. I had to have my digital assistant do that for me. I do not think that this would fit into a, an actual two quart baking dish, considering it is almost filling this one up. So there we go. Yeah, th this would never fit into a two quart dish. Nope, never. So, uh, I'm going to heat my oven to 350 so it's ready whenever we're ready to bake it, but we're not going to do that immediately. And I'm going to go ahead and top it with the rest of the sharp cheddar that I reserved. We did not um, grease this dish at all, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I used my food processor to shred this cheese, so some of it's a little bit long, but it's absolutely fine. It took me all of 15 seconds to shred all of this cheese, and I know I would have been all day and probably hurt myself if I had used a regular shredder. So there we go. That seems like a good amount. All right, so when we're ready, we're going to bake this for about 20 minutes. Well, he says 20 minutes. I'm gonna make sure that one of the things that uh, you can tell if your dish is done when it has cheese on here on the top, if it's not all melted, it's not all heated through, but it should be melted on the top and bubbly around the edges is, is what I would expect from this. But we'll show you what it looks like when it is done and let you know what we think in just a minute. On this episode of Cooking the Books with Heather, you watched me make macaroni and cheese from Rodney Scott's World of Barbecue. And I'll say this, it was not my favorite mac and cheese that I've ever made. Um, I probably have two favorites. They're different. They serve different needs for me. Uh, one's fancier, one's less fancy. So the fancy one, Pool's mac and cheese, always going to be my favorite. Does not reheat well. Uh, or you have to eat it pretty much right there. Otherwise, it's not the same. Uh, second favorite is the uh, Dad's Mac and Cheese from Son of a Southern Chef. I'll link both of those up here. That's my second favorite. It is baked. It is uh, reheats really, really well. It holds well. It's good every time. Uh, I've made it several times at this point. Always really good. This one, I think there's something in... I, I did not love the cream of chicken soup addition here. And I don't know why, like I said, cream of chicken soup is not something that my family ever used in their like casseroles. My mother did make casseroles um, as I was growing up in the you know 80s. <laughs> Just aged myself, but you know, it's not hard to tell. Anyway, uh, we always use cream of mushroom soup, so I would if I tried this again, I would probably switch out the cream of chicken for cream of mushroom soup. Um, it did reheat okay. And uh, the pasta, so he has you cook, cook this larger pasta only for four minutes. Um, and it did not, it was not overdone at all. It was, it still had quite a bit of the al dente, uh, bite to it when we ate it the first time. It's a little bit softer on reheating um, and it did separate just a little bit when I reheated it in the oven. I have not tried yet, we still have a little bit left, uh, reheating it in the microwave, which I think is how we reheated the other kind, the dad's mac and cheese, most of the time. So, I, so I'm not sure if that was why because I Put it in the oven while I reheated that and some ham at the same time uh, but it separated a little bit it was not as bad as the pool's mac and cheese or mac au gratin um, 
So it's sort of middle of the road as far as the reheating of it. It still tasted fine, great. Um, so there's that. Not hard. Uh, it was hard to find the large elbow macaroni, but you could use any pasta shape you really want in this. You could use the, the regular macaroni. Um, the the pre-cooking step, you might want to cook it a little bit less even if you want the same texture if you have to use the smaller macaroni because it generally cooks a little bit faster. Um, we did have to cook the sauce, so there was that part. Uh, that's a little bit different, a little bit more steps than some of the other recipes that I've made. But all in all, my family liked it. For some reason, just me, I have, I just didn't love the cream of chicken soup in it. But otherwise, super easy. Um, very tasty. I don't like shredding my own cheese generally, but I did it in the food processor and made somebody else wash it because that's the one thing about the food processor. I don't like washing it. Nobody likes washing it. <laughs> but uh, so use it for like seven seconds and then you have to wash the whole thing. Whatever. If you've tried this recipe or if you've had it at the restaurant, please let me know in the comments down below what you think. And uh, if you've enjoyed watching me make this, please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and come back and watch me make something else next week.